Hello, my name is Backward7 and I am Editor-in-Chief of Mode 5, winner of the British Telecom Award for Most Trusted Video Gaming website in 1971 and again in 1973. You know, video gaming journalism has changed a lot since the early 1970s. Today I am here to make an urgent appeal on behalf of the charity Coins for Kotaku. At Christmas, it can be very easy to overlook the plight of those who are less fortunate than ourselves. This December, as you sit down for dinner with your friends and families, writers and editors for the video gaming blog Kotaku are struggling to rebuild their lives following a level 15 shitstorm. You may recall the recent unsettling news footage of Hurricane Vivian, a faecal tornado that unleashed a relentless barrage of turds the size of double-decker buses onto a low-lying part of the internet known as the Gorka Archipelago. Even as they clean up, staff at Kotaku must face the prospect of further shitstorms gathering on the horizon and a Christmas brown and the background scenery in Gears of War. In the wake of this human tragedy, we have received disturbing reports of writers for Kotaku who have been living without clean journalistic ethics for months. Writers like Nathan Grayson, pictured here at just seven years of age, claiming last place in a Han Solo themed fancy dress competition. In this season of goodwill to all women, lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgendered folk, sea lion other kin, and cisgendered white male fuckboys. Please give all that you can afford to Coins for Kotaku so that we can save people like Nathan from themselves. A donation of just tuppence a month takes Kotaku one step closer to purchasing the downloadable content in Star Wars Battlefront 3. A gift of £5 will be put towards laser removal of the only God Can Judge Me tattoos worn prominently by the Kotaku editorial staff. Donate today and receive this statuette of Woman of the Year Randy Harper, fashioned by hand from Northumberland cement as our gift to you. Merry Christmas and please do give generously.